The chicken for this fried tender and the duck for this duck l'orange dish were never technically born or slaughtered. They were grown from animal cells in steel tanks by Bay Area startup Memphis Meats. The startup's lofty goal is to reinvent modern animal agriculture, replacing not only the billions of cattle, hogs, and chickens raised worldwide each year, but also the grain and water they consume and their waste. When we look at clean meat and how Memphis Meats is producing meat, we are looking at using about a tenth of the water and also about one hundredth of the land that is required to raise conventional animals. We're also looking at cutting down the energy consumption by more than half. Memphis Meats so-called clean or cultured meat is grown in bioreactor tanks using living animal cells that are able to regenerate themselves. These source cells are collected from animals without slaughtering them and then fed oxygen, sugars, and minerals to grow into meat fit for human consumption. The company started making ground beef for meatballs and hamburgers about a year ago. Now, it's branching into poultry products. Memphis Meats isn't the only company growing meat in labs. Rivals like Mosa Meat and Super Meat are also developing cultured meat products. But Memphis Meats says it's the world's first to successfully produce cell culture poultry. This is the first time ever it's been done in the world. And we are saying we have an answer to those people in the world that love eating chicken. Because chicken is the most consumed meat in the United States. And as we look forward, we can meet the demand as we start producing clean meat. At a tasting set up by the company, tasters found the chicken and duck dishes were pretty close to the real thing. The texture of both was slightly spongier than conventional poultry, but still delicious. Beyond getting the taste right, the main challenge of producing clean meat is making it affordable. Currently, it costs around $9,000 to produce a pound of Memphis Meats poultry, while it costs an average of $3.22 to buy a pound of conventional chicken breast meat in a U.S. grocery store. Regulators will also need to determine how they will review the meat and cell culture operations. How are we converting the feed that we're giving these cells into meat that's being produced? And that's the metric I think that's going to make the biggest difference as we come to the market. So the way the trajectory of cost is going for us and the efficiency, we are planning to put our products on the market in 2021.